How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we're going to be taking a look at making a custom silo setup with the augers and the placeable silos here from Meridian and Conveyol. These things are awesome and I can't wait to show you how to use them. But first, I gotta know, are any of you guys using these things yet? If you are, let me know down in the comments below. I plan on using a setup very similar to this in one of my future Let's Play series. And if you want to be kept up to date when that series is going to be happening, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Before I can show you how to use these, I've got to show you where to find them at in the store. The first thing you need to do is come down here to Others and then across to Construction. Once you're in here, come all the way over to Landscaping and you're going to want to level out your ground just a little bit. I've got a pretty big pad right here, but I highly recommend leveling out the ground a little bit. And the reason is because these augers are a little bit big and if you have any type of slope, it could really mess up the front or the back or the sides whenever you're placing it down and give you some really weird stuff that you may not be able to fix. So I recommend go ahead and level out your ground. Once you're done leveling out your ground, go ahead and come across to buildings and then you're going to come down here to silos. What we're looking for here is the Meridian flat bottom bin 3608 and the flat bottom bin 3609. We're going to go and use the 3608 today. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and rotate this with our L1 and our R1. We're going to put it right here so you guys can see really nicely what's going on in the sun. Now you're going to come into your store and under tools, you're going to go all the way to the bottom and look for belt systems. And then you're going to go all the way to the right. First one that we're going to get is the Conveyol 1690. This is going to be $25,000. There's no customization to it. It's the only one there is. The next item you're going to need here is the Meridian TL1239. It is going to be $14,500. No customization to it. You are going to be able to move these if you want to, but I recommend getting a tractor or a truck. So let's go ahead and take our tractor here, and we're going to connect to the small one, and I'll show you what it's going to look like and how easy it is. So all you have to do is back up to it right here. Boom. It's going to put a drawbar on there for you, and then you just take it away. Now, I have tested this with workers and it's not a problem. They are able to do this perfectly fine. Just be mindful with the longer one about turning radiuses and things like that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop this one right here. Let's go pick up the other one. Here we are with the 1690, and you can see it is also going to give you a drawbar. And like I said, be careful of that turn radius because the end of the auger sticks out quite a bit. What I'm actually gonna do on this one is turn it around here the other direction. Now that we've got our auger closed, we need to put it in its final position. So you have to come over here and you're actually going to get inside of it. You're going to turn it on just like any normal vehicle. Now, the way that you pop into this, it's a little bit backwards to me. It's pretty easy to get used to. So you're going to drive forward this way and backwards this way. So what I'm doing here is I'm just moving it so it's directly underneath the output of the silo itself. There we go. Now, what I need to do to raise it up, I'm going to hold my L1 and I'm going to go down on my right joystick. That's going to raise this thing up into the air pretty far. Now, I'm probably going to leave it about right there. And as you can see, the end of it is now away from the output again. So I just need to back up a little bit. In the top left-hand corner, you can see that it now says start filling. That's exactly what you want. Now it's time to put this bad boy in place. Same thing. You're going to come up here. And I like to switch this around the other direction. You need to turn it on. And remember that backwards and forwards are reversed whenever you're looking like this. The reason I like to do this is because I like to be able to see exactly where it's going up at the top. Now, I know that I'm not gonna be able to get this up there, so I need to extend it. Same thing, L1, and I'm gonna push down on the joystick. So that's getting me pretty close. We're gonna go ahead and move this thing into place now. And I like to look at it just like this. It looks like I need to go up just a little bit more. There we go. Now, you don't have to be exactly over the top of it. You can be off just a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and put that right there. Well, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hold L1 again, and this time I'm going to move left with my right joystick. And what that's doing is moving the bottom boom around for me. Now, let me grab some trailers and show you how to fill this silo up. If you've got a side down trailer like this one, all you need to do is just get pretty close to it. There you go. It's a little finicky with this, and then you're going to be able to overload just like that. Now, the animation is going to show it dumping out onto the ground, but it is all going to go into the silo. So let me run up here, and I will show you exactly what that looks like. As you can see, it's going in perfectly fine. Now, once again, that does not have to be centered over that. It can be out here just a little bit, and it's still going to register and be perfectly fine. 
If you're using a trailer with a rear dump, all you need to do is come around like this, and you're going to back up to it and just get pretty close. And right there. So we're going to overload. And once again, the animation is going to show maybe that it's going to go on the ground, but it's going to be going into the input there for you. Now, if you're using a belly dump trailer, what you need to do is come up pretty close to it right here. And then we're going to stop oh, right about there. Because remember, this arm is going to move around for you. And if you're lucky enough, you can get both of them at one go. But we're just going to do one at a time right here. You need to get out. You're going to come around over here. You're going to hop back into it. And then remember how we moved the lower arm before? Well, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do this. Boom. Right there into place. Come over here. Hop back in our truck. Sometimes you do have to move around just a little bit to be able to get it, but I recommend putting some lines or marks or like a roadway, something like that, around your silo. That way you know exactly where you're going to pull up every single time, and then you're good to go. All you got to do, overload it, and you're good. Once that one is done, you're going to switch to the backside or the front, whichever one you started with, and you're going to pull forward, and there you go, and you're going to empty that one too. I do not recommend running these over because it is going to move your placement up at the top. But now that we've got everything loaded in, what do we do whenever we want to get it out? Well, all you got to do is pull underneath this one right here, the output auger. There you go. Start filling. You're going to hit L. And we got some corn in here. Let's go ahead and fill it up. As you can see, the animation down there at the bottom, it's coming out of the silo into the auger and then out of the auger into your trailer. That's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to keep up to date on all my how-to videos or any other type of video that we have here on the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Also, don't forget about Driver's Crew, where members of the channel get special perks during our live streams and even a special live stream just for members at least once a month. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.